Hello and welcome to this video in the Lockdown Learning Series where we're continuing looking at the free Sonic Couture contact instrument. So in this video we're going to take a look at Roxacord. As you can see I've got it loaded on screen, it's just in a single instance of contact player. So this takes a different approach to generating sound but some of the features you'll probably recognize from tape choir. So the filter, filter envelope, amp envelope and the effects. So really, we're just going to look at this and the unique features of it. So first things first, this has some presets. So we can go through the presets and they have different sections activated. So we can go through these. They're a little small and fiddly on my screen, I'll be honest, but you can see we get these different sounds. Now, you can turn these on and off yourself. So you can turn them on and what you probably notice while you turn them on in fact let's turn all these off so you can hear it more clearly sometimes you don't get any sound out of it and you'll think well what's wrong with that the reason for that is on page two we have the volume of that section and it might be turned down so that allows us to hear that and again the cymbalo four foot is missing and we can turn that up the bottom slider gives you velocity sensitivity okay now if you hold down the alt key on your keyboard you can control all of them so we'll make both of those velocity sensitive and you can get used to these sounds you know have a listen to each one individually you'll see they're probably all in fact let's turn them all up we we'll turn them all on and we're going to turn them all up by holding down the alt key and controlling all of them. So now everything is turned up and now we can hear them individually. And this is say like there were quite a few synths in the seventies, which used this kind of layered oscillator thing where you'd just be able to turn things on and off and you can layer those sounds together. I'm not sure that sounds like a harpsichord, but there we go. And that's how this works. So the, the sound generation part, of this is pretty simple. It's just got these different preset oscillators, which we can put together. And that's, you know, that's okay. But again, as with nearly everything, the filter is where it, it comes into the fore because this is where the, the instrument sound becomes interesting. So that's not a particularly bright sound. We want something that's got a bit of brightness to it so like that harpsy one and then again we can start filtering this whack in a bit of resonance and then we can start playing around with these again we've got this selection of filters which you can spend ages playing around with so that phaser one's quite nice So it's like a fixed phaser on there, etc. So fun to be had there. Oh, vowel filter. Let's try that. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, okay. So I say there's some interest to be had with there. I won't spend too much time looking through that and the filter envelope. If you're not sure how to use those, look at the tape choir video because I've run through those in there. And we've got a bit more of a selection of effects here. So we've got phaser. Distortion. I won't go too crazy with that. Don't need to. It's already doing it. Um, amp simulation. A cabinet simulator and we can pick what kind of cabinet you're using and a rotary speaker with a transition between fast and slow you can hear that accelerating etc so say so there's plenty of fun to be had in there i think that's an interesting synth again experiment with it if it comes up with one sound that you use it's been worth it because you know, some people make a career out of two or three sounds, 
but it's it's worthwhile to look at it and find sounds that you like but also getting a handle on synth programming because if this isn't something you've done before doing it as a in these kind of things where particularly here unless you turn all these off providing you follow the go to page two and turn all the volumes up uh, option you won't ever have no sound coming out of the oscillator so this is a useful learning environment as well as being somewhere where you can generate some interesting sounds so we're going to look at music boxes and tube drum in the next video, but I hope you found that useful and I'll see you again soon.